So passive investing is one of those strategies that can apply to all investors. A lot of investors don't have the time necessary to sit there and stare at their portfolio all the time. This video is going to be awesome. I'm going to jump you into M1 Finance and we're going to go over my sector specialty ETF portfolio comprised of Vanguard ETFs. Guys, stick around. We're going to have a great time on the review. So just as a reminder to anybody that's making their way to the channel for the first time, the Independent Investor Channel is affiliated with M1 Finance. The links are provided in the description below on all of my videos. If you do end up clicking on any of the portfolio links, the channel can receive a compensation and it just helps us support the message that we're putting through uh, on the channel showcasing M1 Finance. It is a brokerage that I use personally. I do enjoy it and I do uh, offer these periodically as an opportunity to showcase the features and functions of M1 Finance, uh, as well as to track performance of these uh, portfolios as I roll them out. This specifically is a little bit of a hybrid uh, strategy where I invest in all of the sector ETFs. So it is somewhat exploratory in nature. It's not very commonplace. But it is indeed passive in nature, very diversified, pays a little dividend to boot, all of which we are going to cover in this video, guys. You're going to want to stick around as we roll through this review on M1 Finance. So let's drop you into the M1 Finance uh, portfolio here. This is one of two taxable brokerage accounts that I have. This just happens to be a little bit of a hybrid uh, portfolio for me. It houses just over $10,000. Uh, and it invests in 11 uh, of the uh, sectors of the S&P 500. And I do so using the uh, Vanguard's specialty ETFs. It's a really cool way of investing. And I have um, this was somewhat experimental when I rolled it out initially. I think some people were kind of also interested in how this portfolio would perform over time. Um, this portfolio has been um, in the works since about early 2019 so it's about a year and a half old and I think a lot of investors out there will really benefit from sitting back and this is a portfolio that started with um, a, a very nominal funding amount and that funding amount was meant to replicate what a new investor could step into the market with and I think a lot of investors they believe that they have to have a lot of money to start investing. That's just not true. M1 Finance does a great job of breaking down those barriers to entry, and you can get your exposure to the stock market without a lot of starting capital. And I think this account initially started with around $2,500, which is a pretty good starting amount. It really is. Um, but for a lot of investors out there that may only have you know five hundred dollars to start in the market m1 finance makes it possible and i know this uh, passive investing strategy really does speak to the masses and it doesn't get any better than taking a passive platform like m1 finance what i mean by that is you're not going to want to be trading in and out of stock in this portfolio i can tell you that these assets that have been placed into this portfolio since March of 2019 uh, have have not been sold at all. There, there's It's only been funded over time. I have not touched this one single time in a year and a half. And we're looking at a market gain here of about $1,583 plus a dividend uh, a to boot of $162.85. So we get a nice uh, scheduled dividend payout four times a year. The Vanguard ETFs pay all at the same time. So it's a really nice payday um, every three months, man. It's a fantastic way to seek diversified exposure to the stock market in a passive way that pays a dividend. I can't say it any clearer than that. So for you guys out there that are looking for your access to the stock market, uh, this could be an interesting way of investing your money and forgetting about it. I don't manage this account. 
I passively invest in this account. I put zero effort into this account. And all it does for me by providing it zero effort is make me money. It's a beautiful thing. Total contributions to the portfolio here just shy of uh, $9,000, just uh, you know, 12 bucks shy of, 80, of uh, nine grand. So those are the total contributed dollars. Those are the hard dollars that I speak of all the time. And then the total between the capital appreciation and the dividends, 1745 total over the last year and a half. Very nice um, rate of return. I think a lot of investors, if they knew that they could get that type of rate of return, I think there'd be a lot of investors that don't know the power of the stock market would jump all over that. And who's to blame them, really? Um, again, what I said should resonate with new investors in that you don't have you do not have to be an expert to invest in the stock market. That is a misconception that we all need to do our best to do away with. Um, I do not seek this exposure nor any of my exposure uh, through the services of a financial planner. This is uh, indicative of a portfolio that requires zero maintenance after the initial setup. So, Let's cruise down here and take a look at the holdings, how they're performing. You'll see somewhat of a similar uh, performance rate here in this uh, portfolio of 11 uh, sectors. And I just want to highlight for you guys that are with me for the first time, I've, I roll these videos out. I try to do them once a month to try to provide um, how the portfolio is progressing over time. It's, it's very important for me to be able to not only show performance uh, over time, but also showcase uh, and demonstrate the aesthetics of M1 Finance. Very, very important. And for you guys to understand how I use M1 Finance to dollar cost average this account up over time. So basically those injections of money will come into this portfolio and it will be dispersed across the pie uh, as I've um, as I've allocated the pie to be established, these allocations have not changed over time. I've always wanted the bulk of the money to flow into technology, and I, I this is my favorite specialty ETH TTF. It's it's my favorite for a lot of reason. It's the only area that I own this por in my total portfolio. This is the only place I own it. I don't own it anywhere else. There are a couple on this list that I do in fact, own elsewhere. And I'll earmark those for you guys. But the Vanguard's information technology is a freaking phenomenal fund. You can see here the total value is 1,481, almost a freaking third of that. Um, about 33% of the, of the return has come right here. $452 on around $1,000 invested is, is, is insane. It, it's insane. If, if you're going to sit here and tell me that you want to go after beating the market, I would ask you, why? Why is it that you would look to set out to beat the market when it's been proven to be somewhat of a futile effort, when you can perform like this and spend your time maybe making money in other facets? Maybe you're busy with your job and you don't have time to manage your portfolio. This is a great way to seek out passive exposure again uh, to foot stomp the fact that I've put zero effort into this portfolio over the last year and a half since it's been incepted. And again, um, it's just done nothing but acknowledge that I've ignored it and paid me back. And that really is the secret to passive investing is just to set it and forget it. These allocation targets are custom. And I will provide the link, obviously, as I always do, to this portfolio so you don't have to memorize it. You can reference the portfolio at a later date when I provide the link, uh, not only in the description below, but also I'll provide it in the comments section of this video. So next at 13% allocation of the portfolio is healthcare. Next, right on down the line, is financials and then industrials at 9%. So you can kind of see this tiered approach here where I wanted my favorite sector first, my next favorite sector next, and then on down the line, and I kind of built this portfolio with the 11 holdings to equal 100% of the total portfolio, right? I've got consumer discretionary, and then I come down to utilities, which is one of two places that I own this um, utilities ETF. This sucker is a beast. 
This has returned almost close to 10% a year since it's been incepted and also pays a whopping 3% freaking dividend. This gets you exposure to, I believe, around 59, last I checked, uh, uh, mega cap and large cap utility companies. Uh, and, and so a great way to get some exposure there, if you didn't want to try to pick one or two or three or five utilities, you could just grab this beast and, and buy the entire sector. And if you're looking for some utility sector exposure, I use it in my Roth IRA uh, to provide me that strategic exposure. And Consumer Staples is next here. This is the only place I own this. And then we come down to the VNQ, which is the same idea. I want to have real estate exposure in other areas of my portfolio. So I use this VNQ in the Roth IRA as well. And that's set here at an 8% allocation. Uh, and then down the line with 6%. Uh, energy, of course, has just been a dog. It continues to be an underperformer. That's totally fine. New, f new funds flow in this, and if they flow into it for the next year or two years or three years, then we're going to be continually buying the bottom of energy if, in fact, this is a bottom. If it continues to go down, then we'll pick up shares of VDE at a cheaper rate. So it's a win-win, guys. I say all the time, win in an up market and win in a down market. This is exactly what M1 Finance allows you to do. And then finally, the telecommunications ETF here at 6%. And you can see here, these returns are nothing to be scoffed at. I took a little bit of heat for investing this way. And I believe coupled with the M1 Finance platform, I think we're onto something very, very powerful. And I hope you guys appreciate this review uh, of the sector uh, ETF portfolio that we have here on M1 Finance. So I'll kick it back to YouTube and we'll conclude the video. All right, guys. So we've come out of the review of M1 Finance. I've really enjoyed this aspect of investing. It's really surprised me. Um, I've dollar cost averaged this account and it's really been Nice to watch it grow over time. It really proves to a lot of investors out there that may doubt the power of passive investing. Guys, you can't put a value on the time that is saved in managing a portfolio like this because it doesn't require any time. It's just a set it and forget it way of investing. It can appeal to a lot of people out there that lead busy professional lives, et cetera, but they understand the benefit of investing on their own and not seeking their exposure to the stock market through the compliments or the services of a financial planner, guys. It can really suit a lot of people's needs out there that do not have the time on their own to invest. Guys, if it is your first time to the message, you want to make sure and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for me. Leave your comments at the bottom of the video and share this with anybody out there that you know may want to be introduced to the prospects of passive investing. It really does apply to the masses. Most people out there do not want to spend the time necessary to research individual stocks, et cetera. If you know anybody that may be in that camp or just wants basic introduction to the stock market, bring them onto the channel. We'd be glad to have them, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into the message and good luck in your investment future.